What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon TCG video. This is going to be the first video like this. Today, we're going to be talking about the new Burning Shadow set that's coming in August. Uh, the new cards have all leaked, so I wanted to just kind of give my impressions of the cards. Now, you got to remember, I am a collector before I'm a player, but I'm also sort of a player. I, I'm getting into it, and I might get back into it a little deeper, so... Um, we're going to be looking at all the cards and then we're going to talk about all of the cards and you can kind of see uh, what we're looking at here. I'm on the wrong page though. So you should be able to see that now. This layout's a little weird because it's the first time I'm doing it like this, but let me know what you think. I know I need a green screen, I know, but we're not at that point yet. We will get there once we pick up some more traction. So again, we're going to go through all the cards. It's going to be nice and chill, just kind of talking about what we see here. Uh, we're going to read through all the cards just so we know what they all do and see if there's anything special and then give our impression of what we think of the cards. So, um, let's just jump straight on in. If you do wind up enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for a whole lot more Pokemon TCG openings and maybe some TCG online if I can get back into it. So, uh, if you see me looking over here, I'm trying to see what you're seeing because my screen over there is, is showing me what's recording right now. So, first up is this Caterpie. Surprise attack, 20 damage, flip a coin, so this card is worthless. <clears throat> Next up we have Metapod. He actually has a damaging attack, that's good. Heal 40 damage from his Pokemon, so he's terrible as well. Butterfree, this Butterfree art is so sad. It's referencing Bye Bye Butterfree, the Pokemon episode, which is crazy that they would do that. Um, but I do like that art a lot. So it says, Bye Bye Healing. Oh my gosh, even the move name uh, is referencing referencing it. Heal all damage from each of your Pokemon, then shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it in your deck. That is so sad. Oh my goodness, Pokemon, how could you do this to us? All right, moving on. All right, Tangela, you know, looking, looking Tangela-ish. <clears throat> Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your next turn for one energy. That might be... I don't know. It has 80 hit points, so like maybe that could be a one of that you would want to pull at the beginning of the game. I really don't know. Tangela, uh, I, I don't know. It may, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's a thing. Uh, so Tang Growth, that you can see here, Giga Drains, 30 damage, recovers HP equal to the amount of damage done to your active Pokemon. That sucks. Four, four energies, flip four coins. Okay, this card's terrible. All right, Wimpod. Wimp out during your first turn. This Pokemon's retreat cost is zero. Okay, that's a little interesting. I wonder if that could be used for something. Well, maybe not, but maybe it'd be like if this is the only card that you have on your first turn and then you draw something else, you can retreat it. Uh, so that could be cool because then obviously you want to get to this thing uh, and this Galissapod GX. Um, let's take a look at him. I think he looks really cool. He's nice and blurry. The, the image is blurry, so I wonder how blurry it'll actually be. But I think Elisapod is my favorite bug. Uh, third favorite bug type of all time. For a second, I forgot that Heracross and Scizor were a thing. Uh, but Galissapod is definitely the, the best design bug in Gen 7. So let's see. We got first impression. Does 30 plus damage. Attack does 90 more if this Pokemon became your active Pokemon during this turn. Okay, so what if you had like one Wimpod up? Oh, no, you couldn't do that. I mean, you could do something super cheeky, like um, use a Wally supporter <laughs> to evolve your Bench Wimpod into Galissapod and then retreat your active Wimpod into your new fir first turn evolved Galissapod, but then you can't attack anyway. So, um, so that's interesting. Armor Press for three energies. <clears throat> Does 100 damage during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks. I don't know how useful that'll be. And then for the same amount of energies, Cut Cross GX, 150 damage. Switch this with one of your bench Pokemon. So 150 and then you just run away. That could be a thing. That could be good. Uh, I'm just thinking about what runs the meta right now. Doesn't um, Drampa have one... 50? Wait. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean to say 150. Is it 180? I definitely didn't mean to say 150. 
because I know the Dramp. Yeah, he has 180, so... Um, I don't know. Glissopod probably won't get too much. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Next, we can see this little magic carp. Bounce aside. 10 damage if head prevents all prevent all effects of attacks, including damage under this Pokemon. Magic Carp actually hits! And then you're flipping a coin to defend it. I have not seen this Gyarados. What is going on with this guy? Look at how angry he is. For a double colorless energy, blast apart. 50 damage. This attack does 50 damage times the number of magic carp in your discard pile. So if you have three magic carp in your discard pile. It's only doing 150. But that's only for a double colorless energy, so... Um, maybe? But at the same time, with only 150, it's going to die pretty quick. And then for 4 energy... <coughs> excuse me. Splash Burn, 160 damage. Attack does 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Gyarados always flailing around. I don't think this Gyarados will get much play. But that's just me. Uh, Pampoor, nothing special. Pans, or Semipoor, excuse me. Uh, Aqua Reflect, 50 damage. Move one water energy from this to one of your benched. This thing won't get used. Bruxish, ugly little face. Nash Teeth, defending Pokemon is now confused. Synchronize, 60 damage. Attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that have the same type as your opponent's active Pokemon. That would be really good, I think, if it didn't take three energies. I feel like this could potentially be a thing if it didn't take three energies. I think it taking three energies is going to kind of hurt it, so I doubt it will see any play. Next, we can see um, we got another Pikachu. Nothing significant. Is this how they show hollows? Is this how they show hollows in this set? Or has it always been like that in the Japanese sets? Because this looks really cool, but like Gyarados and Raichu so far are the only two that are like this. So Evo Shock, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. When you play this card from your hand to evolve, you paralyze the opponent's Pokemon. That's pretty good. That could potentially be useful. I'm not sure, uh, you know, with how fast the with how fast the game is in getting set up, I don't know how useful it'll be. But uh because that's two turns to get those up, and then you have to have them, so that probably won't see use. Next is Tynamo, who gets the uh, the yarn treatment. Um, he looks pretty cool, kind of like Poliwag did in the last set. Blah, blah, blah. If your opponent has a water energy attached to it, attack does 30 more damage. So that'd be 40, and then if it hits for weakness, does 80 for one energy. <laughs> that's a lot. That would be good in like, um, if you maybe pull that in like a pre-release format uh, where you just open up the packs that you get and then make a, make a deck from that. But obviously in actual play, it's not going to see anything. Uh, electric. Small appetite for your opponent's active Pokemon. What? If your opponent's active Pokemon's maximum hit HP is 100 or more, this attack does not. Oh, okay. I didn't see the 50 there. Okay. I was very confused. Okay, Electros. Looking nice and powerful. How many Electros cards are there? I didn't obviously didn't collect during black and white, um, but how many Electros cards are there? I don't think there were any that I can remember from um, X and Y. So Mega Mouth, 50 damage. Defending Pokemon can't retreat. Vacuum Volt for three energies, 80 plus damage. You may do an additional 80 if you do it. Also does 80 to one of your Pokemon. That's crazy. It's a lot of damage. See Viper. <clears throat> nice and psychic. Poison up as long as this Pokemon is in play. Place an additional damage counter on your opponent's poison Pokemon. So that would be doing 20 per turn after doing 30. That won't be used. Duskull. Put one basic Pokemon. I hope you can. Okay, good. Put one basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. That doesn't sound so bad. What does Dust Clops do? Wander the Night. Put one damage counter on each Pokemon in play. Well, that's stupid. Ambush. 30 plus damage. Flip a coin if heads attack does 30 more damage. Okay, you're not useful at all. How about Dust Noir? 
once during your turn before you attack you may look at your opponent's hand put a base pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench put three damage counters on that pokemon what mind jack 30 plus damage tech does 30 more damage for each your opponent's bench pokemon that's literally zorark's attack i'm pretty sure zorark's attack is mind jack okay next up we got my boy crow gunk shout outs to pokin Krogunk looks so much fun. Anyway, anyway, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Uh, blah, 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 flip a coin of heads. Okay, you're useless. Toxicroak. Poison jab, 30 damage. Active Pokemon is now poison. Poison high, 80 plus damage. If this Pokemon is poison, this attack does 80 more damage. Then this Pokemon is no longer poisoned. Wait, what? If Toxicroak is poisoned, it does 80 more? Is there like an item to poison Pokemon? Like a poison orb or something? <laughs> that's a little, that's weird, that's weird. All right, Esper, like me some Esper. Missy leading eyes until the end of your opponent's next turn. Defending Pokemon's weakness becomes psychic. That won't be used. Meowstic. I threw off everything, didn't I? Okay, uh, Meowstic. Allure, draw three cards. That's never gonna be used. We're just gonna move on. Necrozma GX. All right, what you got for us, Necrozma? Ability end of light. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from colorless. Yeah, from colorless Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. I think that's colorless. Yeah, that has. To, yeah, of course that's colorless. Hello. Okay, Prism Burst. Ten damage. Discard all psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. Attack to sixty more damage for each energy card discarded in this way. So you could potentially have three Psychic Energies on, let's say, and if you de deposit all or uh, discard all of them, that would be 190 damage, which is good. That's actually really good. Black Ray GX for the same amount of energies does 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon EX and Pokemon GX. Oh, I remember this. So if you're like, let's say my favorite deck is the Decidueye deck of old. So I would have... Um, you know, I might have like a Shaman, a Lugia, and let's say three Decidueyes like ready to go. And it just does 100 damage to all of them. I bet Necrozma is going to find some way to be used. Especially since it's just three colorless energies. Like, that's crazy. I bet Necrozma is going to be real good. Because you can do 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon one turn. And then the very next turn you can use Prism Burst and you kill everything. Or, you know, you kill whatever's in front of you. That's pretty crazy. All right, moving on, moving on. Rhyhorn, nothing special. Rhydon, nothing special. Oh, yeah, for sure. Rhyperior, nice hollow. Mountain removal. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Okay. Rock Wrecker for four energy. 170 damage attack isn't affected by weakness or resistant poke and can't attack during your next turn You'll never be used unfortunately next you have sock How many sock cards are there? During your opponent's next turn prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's basic Pokemon can't use this attack during your next turn Okay, sure brick break does 40 blah 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 mud bray Sure Mudsdale do we need another Mudsdale? We just had a Mudsdale in Guardians Rising. Why do we need another Mudsdale? I, okay, yeah, it's, it's a Gen 7, so, so I, I guess I understand why. So for three colorless, we got Kick Away, 60 damage. Switch your, switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. If that wasn't three colorless, like maybe. And then we have for four Vigorous Dash, 130 damage. Attack does 30 damage to this Pokemon and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It won't be used. <clears throat> Next up, we have this little guy, uh, Marshadow GX. Marshadow's newly announced. We've known about him for a long time, but he is newly announced. His ghost fighting. I didn't know he was ghost fighting, honestly, until I saw the Pokemon announcement of it. I've been trying to avoid spoilers as much as I could, which makes sense why I'm doing this video. Anyway, um, Shadow Hunt. This is a Pokemon can use the attacks of basic Pokemon in your discard pile. Must have the necessary energy. I have a feeling Marsh Shadow is probably going to be used. <clears throat> Beat down does nobody's going to use that. 
for one fighting energy, 100 fissures, GX, 50 times damage. This attack does 50 damage times the number of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. He's absolutely going to be used. How good will he be? I don't know. But uh, he's absolutely going to be used, and that's really cool. He's like, a, he's like an extended Mew. So, like, Mew can use the attacks of your bench Pokemon. Right? Mew can use the attacks of your bench Pokemon. But Marshadow can use the attacks of, like, all the Pokemon in your discard pile as well. That might be good for, like, a one-of or a two-of. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll be used, though. Let's go ahead and move on. Also, his art looks super sick. I think all, all those arms... <laughs> I think I think Marsh, Marshadow is really cool. Marshadow is really cool. So we have a Rattata. Do I have to read out what it does? A Rattata with 40 hit points. This boy getting strong. Alolan Raticate. Reinforced Fang, 10 damage. If this Pokemon has a tool card attached, attack does 50 more. So it does 60 for nothing. What? Okay, so go with me here. Imagine that you have this Alolan Raticate with a muscle band attached to it. That means that you're going to be doing 80 damage to GX Pokemon for no energies. I bet we'll see Raticate in some form. I bet we'll see Alolan Raticate in some form. Alright. Next we have Ralts. Curlia. This is one of my favorite lines of all time. However, I wish it didn't end like this. Why is Gardevoir in the set? When's the last time we got a Gallade? Let's look. We're gonna, we're gonna look right now. I have another tab right here. So let's go. Let's, I wanna see what kind of cards we have for Gallade. Okay, there is a Gallade. Oh, duh. Okay, I need that. Okay, so there's at least been some love to Gallade. All right, cool. Go back to what we were doing. All right, um, Gallade ability, or excuse me, Gardevoir GX. Ability Fountain of Secrets. Once during your turn, you may attach one fairy energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Why is the... Oh, okay, so I guess oh, that makes sense because F would be fire. Um, attach one fairy energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So you can do two energy per turn. Infinite Force GX. 30 damage times the amount of energies attached to both, both active Pokemon. So you're probably going to do at least 60 from the very first turn, and then you're going up by 60 every turn afterwards if you have the energy for it. That could be good. Twilight GX, GX. Search your discard pile for 10 cards, show them to your opponent, shuffle them back into your deck. That's really good. Because, like, imagine that you use, you know, you have a bunch of fairy energies in your discard pile. Well, boom, there's that. Get them all in your deck again. Woo! Gardevoir. You, you, Gardevoir is always around. And look at that art. I love Gardevoir. I love Gardevoir. Okay. Next up is Morlul. Sure. Next up is Shenotic. <laughs> so Shenotic. Didn't we just have one of these too? Strength Sap. 30 damage. Heal 30 damage times the amount of energies attached to your active Pokemon from this Pokemon. Okay. Sleep Pulse. 60 damage. Yeah, you're never being used. Next is a Zygarde. What is up with this? Why is there a Zygarde? Why is there a Zygarde perfect form? Why does he only have 150 hit points? I can think of some people that won't like that. Why is he terrible? Oh my goodness! <clears throat> He's horrible. This is a terrible card. Land Crush for 3 energy you just do 80 damage. That's terrible. And then for 4 energy, which is 1 double colorless, 1 fairy, 150 and you have to disc discard... <laughs> If I ever pull that card, I might have to tear it in three. Yes, in three. Next up, we got Porygon. This is cool. This is cool. I like it. Then we got Porygon 2. Calculate. Look at the top six cards of your deck and return them to the top of your deck in any order. Nice. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I don't know if it can ever be used, but that could be super powerful if you get stuck. Next, we have a Hollow Porygon Z. I like Porygon 2 better than Porygon Z, personally. Ability Reformat. When you place a card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card into your opponent's hand. So, one turn, you have Porygon 2 down in front, and you calculate 
get your six cards in order. Next turn, you evolve to Porygon Z. And then when you do that, <laughs> you devolve each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's insane. Probably won't be used, but is insane. Next up, we got a little cute Stuffle. I love Stuffle. Nothing good there. And then, isn't this the same art that it used? It's That's pretty close to the same art. Okay, so what do we got? Let's see if we can pull you up. Make sure we're looking good. We are not. Whoops. I am so sorry that I didn't catch that before. Mix up. Flip a coin if heads discard the top three. Okay, sure. Tantrum does 120. Pokemon now confused. Garbage. Torment Spray. All right, we're... Are, okay, we're in the trainers now. Good, good, good. So, <clears throat> Torment Spray is from uh, Team Skull. That's pretty cool. Choose one card from your opponent's hand and reveal it. If it's a supporter card, your opponent discards that card. If not, put it back in your opponent's hand. Okay. That's not super bad. We got a super scoop up. Flip a coin of heads. Put one of your Pokemon all cards attached to it into your hand. So if it's about to die, you can say, here's my super scoop up. Give me all that back. And then I'm throwing it back down and get it reset up. That could be good for Decidueye. If your Decidueye is about to die and you have a forest of giant plants, right, is what I think it's called, then, you know, scoop up your Decidueye, it's all healed, brr, 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 pop it back down, and Decidueye doesn't need any energy on it to run, so then you're good to go. Next up is Guzma. We knew he was coming soon. What does he do? Switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of, his, one of their bench Pokemon, then switch your active Pokemon with it. So it's a supporter escape rope. Got it. All right, Wick. <clears throat> Each player shuffles their hand and draws a new hand of the same number of cards. <clears throat> that might be okay. I mean, I don't think it's as good as N. That doesn't sound as good as N. Um, so I doubt N is going anywhere. Next up is Poe Town. So there's a lot of... Uh, so all of these all of these trainer cards were focused around Team Skull, which that's pretty cool. We needed some Team Skull stuff. So when either player draws a card... This is a stadium. When either player draws a card from their plays a card from their hand to evolve a Pokemon, place three damage counters on that Pokemon. This card stays in play when you play it. Discard another step, blah 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 blah. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's take a look at these um, expensive cards. So we have oh, you can you can uh, oh I guess I can just do that. <laughs> I was thinking about getting really fancy. Um, <clears throat> but we got a nice little Galistapod. We've already read these, so we're just checking out the art. I like this art much better than I like the other art. Uh, this this card looks great. It looks really good. Necrozma. I'm going to scoot you back over. So Necrozma looks great. I, I love these sun and moon cards. If anyone from the Pokemon company happens to watch this video. <laughs> why are you watching my video? But um, these cards are just wonderful. I absolutely love what they did with these GX cards. Marshadow looking nice and strong. I see you, boy. I see you. See him flexing. Look at that. He flexing on him. Look, you see that muscle right there. He flexing on him. Flexing on him. Uh, next up is Gardevoir. Looking powerful. Looking beautiful. That's crazy. They said, I don't care if you had a Mega before. Forget Megas. Then we have a full art Guzma. Looking nice and Guzma-like, if you know what I mean. Then we have Wick. Looking very Wick-like, if you know what I mean. Uh, why are you watching my video? Alright, uh, then we got some Rainbow Rares, of course. Or Hyper Rare, whatever you want to call it. Um, looking good. I probably... I think I prefer, prefer the Full Arts. I think I prefer the Full Arts over Rainbows. Uh, but they are looking nice and good now this isn't all of them this is not all of them hold on all right what do we got we got an ultra rare super scoop up i have not pulled any ultra rares in guardians rising i haven't pulled anything or i haven't pulled any secret rares excuse me i said the wrong thing i haven't pulled any secret rares in guardians rising and i'm not too happy about that and then we have a rescued stretcher oh my gosh we're not even almost done how long have we been going? I don't know. I'm going to keep going. We might uh, we might cut it at some point because now we're moving on to the next set. Uh, but we have uh, this full art rescue, stretch, rescue stretcher. And then, of course, we have this fairy energy, which you can see on the other side. 
looking nice looking nice so i'm gonna need to get those that is going to do it for this video as i have done so many times in playthroughs and let's plays and things like that the rest of the video takes about another 20 minutes because there's another whole half to go so i'm just going to split it into two parts not a big deal i do hope you enjoyed us going over this first half of the burning shadow set that's coming to us on august 4th uh, we are, like i said we will have part two up very soon i'm not exactly sure when i'm going to release these um, but they will be out soon, so I hope you'll come back to check out the second half of these because that's where the cards that I really like are in. So we can certainly see some of those. Now, if you're looking for a place to watch some people or someone open Burning, uh, Burning Shadows cards, I already have my booster box pre-ordered, at least my first booster box. Hopefully by that point I can start doing multiple boxes in a month. Um, but I do have my booster box already ordered. It's going to be going up a couple days before the, uh, the launch date, I hope. And then you already know if you watch my stuff that we have two videos of Pokemon TCG openings each week. Uh, where we will probably be doing Burning Shadows for a while. As well as hopefully TCGO coming back to the channel. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on that stuff. Because uh, we're just going to be opening up so much of it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. We will see you next time for the second part of this Burning Shadows preview. Have a blessed day.